Here are passages of scripture that clearly describe the utter and complete annihilation of the wicked and those who do not obey the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. These passages not only describe the complete destruction of these souls, but also describe the absolute end of their existence. Psalm 37, 10 through 11. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Psalm 92, 7. When the wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they may be destroyed forever. Proverbs 10.25 When the whirlwind passes by, the wicked is no more, but the righteous has an everlasting foundation. Proverbs 10.29 The way of the Lord is strength for the upright, but destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. Job 20 verse 4 through 7 Do you not know this of old, since man was placed on earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Though his arrogance mounts up to the heavens and his head reaches to the clouds, yet he will perish forever like his own excrement. Those who have seen him will say, where is he? Malachi 4, 1 through 3. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven and all the proud, indeed, all who do wickedly will be like stubble and the day that is coming will burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that neither root nor branch will be left of them. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will arise, with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat, like calves fed at the stall. You will trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. Matthew 10, 28, And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell.